Hello YouTube and welcome back to Comfort Play Satisfactory and in previous episode we have started production of our biofuel uh, once again and we did additional machine for creating and we have identified a bottleneck in terms of our screws production they have been screwing us royally with that one so without further ado I will I'm eager to present some improvements in that department so here we shall be providing another wall from which we shall have two smelters dedicated ones so uh, power wise power pole I think we should probably there we go and then we should probably have another power pole over here one will be for the smelters obviously and another one will be for the constructors so the whole idea is that we'll have two more constructors so I'll let me just queue them up smelter I mean how it is with smelter one smelter should be able to fully populate two isn't it so let's double check so that I don't go fully overboard like smelter you're producing 30 per minute right and you can create what 15 per minute that's not what I was asking here you can create 15 per minute yes so um, one can supply for two in which case I want to have four I want to have two smelters and four additional constructors and those fours would be making 30 so that would be enough to supply these two plus add the screws for safe keeping which I believe we are doing somewhere around there hopefully I don't know actually if we are even providing screws for safekeeping so that's something that we'll need to double check obviously so let me just double check as in the amount of screws no those are just being supplied over there so we don't even have screws for safekeeping well that's not a satisfactory outcome don't you think haha <laughs> see what I did there all right so the screw production we're gonna completely screw over here and we'll set it up upstairs so what do we need for that we need two smelters and we need uh, four constructors is it four two for making rods no we need if we need two smelters we'll need two cons per construct per smelter so we need four constructors for making the rods yes for making the rods and another four for making the screws or is it what's the production speed on making the screws from the rods hold on I have to check they can make 90 per minute so to meet 120 they said they will need 122 times 40 isn't it so this one's makes 90 what's the requirement from these guys then so these are 90 one can do 90 I think if one can do 90 the requirements by these guys is 120 times 2 so 240 divided by 90 is roughly it's 3 so I would need three constructors delivering these guys okay so if I want three constructors delivering these guys then I and they will be delivering two of these then I need to set it up in a good way don't I and I have two lines over there going two lines there so those would be I could see in theory have three lines but 
I'm going to go with 2. So, all right, that means I need three constructors building the, so I had uh, four of these, which means that uh, three building there, which means four if I want to supply that. So I need eight a total of cheese. That's going to be crowded. And which means I would need to expand this by one slot here, which makes sense for the time being. So we can do that easily. All right. So I want eight constructors, four and four. So that's eight constructors, two smelters. Let's fill up on the requirements we need to actually meet to be able to build them. So, we need more cable, obviously. And I want to even exceed and reinforce iron plates. We'll need a lot more. I want also a lot more iron plates. Yes. And then we're just going to go and build it. I just hope this will be enough spot for it. So, reinforced iron plates. Got them. Perfect. Now this will be a first massive undertaking done by yours truly, so forgive me if I will appear a very noobish. I'm even thinking of exceeding this one by one, but let's see. Constructor. I want you obviously lying here and your input being here, so that's one. Then we need two, three, four. Are they all in line? Yes, they are. Good. And then they should be provided by another four. I mean, ideal case would be like that. One. three that would be the ideal case now I have to figure out the way how to have two f smelters feeding four of these and then they should somehow merge into two so hmm okay we'll take like this you i need actually three of them to going this way and this one you will be going down there yes you will be going to the storage fine perfect that means that you, Sunny, will have to somehow merge and then split. Hmm. This will be very interesting to see how it will flow. If all of them merge on one, I don't think the capacity of the belt is that wide enough. So, two of them to sh should split into one, and the other two should split into, to, should merge into there. Yes, I think I want to do that somehow like that. How I plan to do that, I have absolutely no idea. Can I put, put a belt? And I believe we went out of power. Yes. Well, let's see if our biofuel that we have set up in from the previous episode has learned its lesson. Yes, it has. Okay, good enough. Let's see which one went out of business. We have 86 here, which means additional 10 wouldn't hurt. 
we have 86 here, which mean, well, a little bit fill up wouldn't hurt. Could it be that actually they went overboard? I, I failed to understand how, but hey, it's everything is possible, so. Yeah, you have enough, you have enough. So these three have enough. It's just that the consumption spiked at some point. Well, that's weird. Oh, or this one went, ah, uh, this one went out of fuel. That pretty much explains it. Hmm. Yeah, I understand. I'll have to work more on obtaining more fuel. However, for the, during that time, you shall actually be dismantled. Yes. Haha, -ha, look at that. All of a sudden. Yes, and you are going away, and you are going away, and we will replace you, actually. Go figure, haha. -ha. You and you. And that should hopefully increase the production on this side, hopefully. And then you will get the chance to bugger off. You will have a chance to bugger off. I mean, obviously, I want to. The whole reason why I'm dismantling these wonderful things is that I want to retake the cost of everything. There we go. That's done. And now we will be replacing you, obviously, with a wall window. Wall window. Wall conveyor window, yes, thank you. Something along these lines. Having a fully teched out storage here would also be beneficial. Organization storage container for the screws. Well aligned with everything, thank you. Perfect. And we'll hook you up in a moment, honey. So don't worry about it. Now we should be talking some smelters and I think when I start ramping up this I'll need a drastic increase of, uh, of um, biomass and power and everything so. Yeah, let's do it like this. You're gonna go here and on yourself you're gonna have a merger somewhere here yes and then you sunny boy are gonna go into this encroaching others clearance whose clearance are you encroaching there chief ha huh. you don't say okay we'll then move you a little bit further nine merger there there we go now are you encroaching now somebody's clearance you are no longer, thank you. Which means for this guy, we'll have to figure out if this will work. Would be nice. Let's see, you are gonna go there. Oh, you're gonna work, that's lovely. In that case, we have to have another merger here. And that another merger is gonna be conveyor merger. Who would be heading in that direction I'd reckon and the fact that it's aligned with this is gonna help it a great deal right so there to there and then there to over there thank you for understanding and then you will have actually a splitter here. See what I'm doing here? A total and uncompromised mess. Oh, actually, I didn't want that. I wanted organization. Where are the no, logistics? 
7 merger, 7 splitter, 8 merger. Right, now I want number 7. I wanted Mr. Splitter over here. And Splitter is supposed to go input from that side. And then going onwards. Ah! Yes. Mm, foundation. Addition, the additional one wouldn't be a miss, I think. Yeah, and let's go around. I'll need a monstrous amount of power to feed this sucker, but that's okay. So, you are settled in. Good. Which means I could, in theory, connect you down here and you, the other guy, over there. Good. So that I take away this guy completely. You're not gonna go anywhere and you are gonna go away because you are gonna go in here. So that should resolve the delivery problem, hopefully. Now, we have to think about the supply problem. And we'll need obviously more splitters and mergers, but we're gonna come to that. So first, I want you to get in here. Okay, fine. You have already connected, I assume, or not. No, you have not connected. Then you are gonna go here and you're gonna be merging with that guy. Good, good enough. Yes, while you on the other side will be going outside and then somehow, hopefully, hopefully, going around and uh, feeding into that storage over there. All right, here we'll need a lot more poles and I'll need more conveyor belts because these two I'll need a splitter. So, here's one splitter, and then I want the other splitter to be basically in the same line with this. Or do I want them to be in the same line? Probably not, but yeah, we'll see about that. Now, you one are going in here yes other one is going in here yes you are going in here you are going in here all that trouble for screwing up with the screws you know imagine that and then we'll have the smelters of course the smelters should be here. So, I'm gonna place the conveyor poles just for convenience, like one here, and another one here, so that the belts can go their separate ways. We'll see how it will be working with. So, production, smelter, yes. You shall be going in here and the other one shall be going in there right and let's see if the walls will be what it connects them or separates them now one wall conveyor, second wall conveyor. Perfect. So I found actually walls to be quite nifty. I must admit, I had my reservations with them, but they're completely gone. Now you are gonna go 
uh, invalid shape. How about I move this one a little bit closer then. So you are going to go, actually, I'm, let's try to have them closer. Like that, and then coming off from that side, yes. And then you coming on on this side, yes, while you are going to go on this side. That's resolved. Wonderful. So, let's see. Assuming that now everything will probably go to bananas, but I don't care. You are going to be smelting this, powering this guy. You're going to be powering this guy. And you both are smelting iron. So, I have to just make sure that I configure iron ingot. Yes. You, iron ingot. Yes. Now, the four of you will be making rods. 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 And rods. Perfect. Which leaves you, other four, to be making... Oh. Um, yeah, they, I should probably connect them at some point. You should be making screws. Yes. You should be making screws. Yes. You should be making screws. And you should be making... Guess what? That's right. Screws. Perfect. Uh, so, do we have any empty spaces here for the power? No, we don't. We might have some here, though. I'm actually going to play some power poles just to be on the safe side here. And then probably some will be needed. Yeah, we'll see how we'll hook everything up. We still need to connect these. I have deliberately not connected them yet because, well, reasons. Um, that. So this one is like distributory. You are powering these two in addition to the third pass-through cable over here. Yeah, so you are talking with this guy while you are at the same time supplying this guy and that guy. Perfect. And you are responsible for powering up that guy as well as this guy. Okay. That's that side covered. And then we have one that we will be placing here. You are supplying that guy and that guy, obviously, while you are coming here. And then you are supplying that guy and that guy, obviously. So that should be enough when it comes to power supply. Let's now connect the belts. And obviously they are not working yet because we haven't connected the input. Which is quite understandable. I mean, without input you cannot do jack. And for this guy we still yet have to connect the output as well. The output going, I'm sorry to say, I'll have to find another way down. Because I don't want to be jumping all the way down. A little bit down, that's fine, but way, way down, it's not fine. At least not, not in my book, so. So, oops. I think I've made the wrong call. Yes, 
this and I would probably want to see a couple more on this side just to be on the safe side so I don't drop to my death when building stuff oh go figure I'm almost out of a concrete you don't say I'm just gonna go and pick some up very building heavy this episode but what can you do so now finally it's time that we connect the input and I have a feeling we will want to do a little bit of rework of that so conveyor belt yes remove yes remove 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 lots of raw materials coming right there nice isn't it so six first i was thinking on the ramp that i would like to build and having it placed like this together with a foundation that would be looking like that and then make things in perfect order sorry about that somebody thought it was very funny to call me for some reason or another i don't understand okay there we go you're going this way and you are obviously gonna go that way however until we get there we're gonna do some alignment things which we say you're gonna go here and you are gonna go here I think this one isn't aligned is it no yeah thought as much now okay well you're gonna go here and then you're gonna go here so I'm just thinking if I connect this like that and then I have at least a little bit more ordered way of doing things and you if I connect like like that no but I don't want to I wanted another belt coming this way and then from this way coming in here and then from in here coming that way yes because I want my splitters to be able to split things now seven you I want a splitter conveyor belt splitter what well, why don't you want to participate yes somewhere like that while we're still on the right there and you while we're on the right subject aligned more or less you I want here there we go perfect so you shall take directly input that way while you shall take the input let's see are you would you be encroaching this guy's clearance that's the real question no you wouldn't perfect in that case you can continue there oh this will be fun now expecting things to break in all sorts of glorious ways now uh, oh these are full actually and these are full you don't say so let's see if things will work or they'll start breaking in all sorts of wonderful ways I'm really eager to see when it goes like <coughs> power sh consumption crazy. Okay, these well guys are going well, and now when these constructors start, oh, what? 
the the last two don't seem to be running for one reason or the other let's see if that's the truth yeah they are flashing red okay something's amok power consumption 70 okay that's fine why aren't you working no power are you sure you don't have any power i did connect you ha huh. yes but i never connected you chief right oh, that's 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 golden all right now let's see if it will go okay they started to go wonderful let's see if the production will spike up oh i cannot wait to see if this will actually become what's the utilization 84 percent ladies and gentlemen now we are talking amazing okay 62 percent still i'm very happy with that amount compared to 18 that's just bonkers and this one is oh, currently zero but it's gonna go up yeah okay what's your power production 103 megawatts and when the last one kicks in i'm pretty sure that the consumption will kick the bucket eventually so i have all right so what i need is by the way guys i have noticed that this is also a very good way of commuting about in if you ever need to so you make a like that and then you make that and you connect that over there yeah and everything broke i was kind of expecting that and i'm expecting it that it's due to the power surge yes which means i will need to employ more of the electricity factories um that being said so how do i want to tackle that guy coming from here should ah uh, uh oh okay i wasn't expecting this to be honest and i should probably find my way out sooner rather than later because i see some beasties okay Note to myself, be careful and build more plates below, yes. All right, so I'm having another conveyor pole here. And I'm going to build conveyor belt to it. Yes. Is this section connected? Should be. All right. That means I only need to find a way how to connect those two. And I think I'm going to go with this. Probably. I'm not yet sure if that's the best way, but... Oh, it's not possible to have it that high? You're kidding me. That's a damn shame. All right, in that case, I'll need to go up and just make a tiny tweak, after which we will be fixing the power issue, of course. Yes. All right, so... I mean, this is all wonderfully concepted, but uh, due to the power overload issues, I'll have to update. So this splitter should be going that way, and then it should back up. So conveyor poles, yes. You are gonna go that way out, followed by conveyor pole being over there hi and then you are going to come over that way what conveyor belt too steep 
You are kidding me, right? Here's an idea. I'm not particularly proud of that one, but I, I think it's going to work. You are going to go that way, followed by you being there, followed by removing you, followed by you taking from that way there, and then followed by you being there and that then you're gonna go and come on opposite side please yes had it and then you're gonna go here like that way and you're gonna go and connect that side yes and then you are gonna go here there you're gonna go that side and then you are gonna go that that side perfect that's resolved now we need to find another source of biofuel and uh, my chainsaw won't work because I have no biofuel da, 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 da. and it stops yes sorry well guys I think our uh, factory is advancing quite beautifully uh, I think it will take a long while till I actually get it somewhere but um, yeah as always like if you like what you're seeing let me know how you are doing things in, uh, in satisfactory and I'll see you all in the next one thank you very much for watching this is Grumfork signing off